What's up guys, Llama Pen here. About a year ago I uploaded what would be one of my more popular videos on my channel and that was the three most useful deeks in NHL 21. So in that video I highlighted the toe drag, the spin move, and the through the legs deeks as the deeks that I deemed to be the most useful in the game. In that video I also teased the idea of making a video breaking down the three most useless deeks in the game. So here we go. Before we get started though, I am going to call back the criteria that I used in the three best deeks video. So one, uh, ease of use. So how easy is it to learn this deke? How complicated is the sticking? Two, uh, how high is the fail rate? So this basically just comes down to attributes. Uh, assuming you get the sticking down perfect and you do everything right, how often are you just gonna lose the puck based on your skater's attributes? Finally, number three, how deceptive is the move? So how does this move fool defenders? Can this deke be perceived as something else like a shot, a pass, or a different deke to add to its deceptiveness? As well as other factors like ease with which the deke can be comboed with other dekes, how long the deke takes to perform, how much it slows you down, etc. So for this video, I'm gonna use the same criteria. If a deke's hard to learn, fails a lot, and isn't deceptive, then I think it's fair to say that it's not a very useful deke. I will also just add that I'm not including finishing moves. So by that I mean uh, moves that are used to score, like the, the Michigan, the one-hander, the Kucherov, deeks like that, because they aren't really meant to be used to deke defenders, although they could be used that way, but that's not their intent. Maybe this is kind of an arbitrary line to draw, but I think if I did include those, then yeah, like obviously the Michigan is almost never useful and fails like 99% of the time. So it just seemed kind of too easy to pick those. So I'm gonna stick to moves that you would expect to use one-on-one -on -one against a defender. So anyway, to start it off at number three, it is the forehand chip deke. Yeah. This deke is just so rarely useful. It fails all the time, regardless of deke rating. And that to me is the worst thing about it, is just the fail rate is insanely high. So the situations where it works are so rare and it essentially accomplishes the same thing as the L1 quick deke, the stride deke and the windmill deke, but just fails like 10 times more. So if you wanna cut to your forehand side, the only reason you would want to do the forehand chip instead of these moves I mentioned is because it just looks cooler. Uh, you skate in a straight line, it fails. You skate toward your forehand side, it fails. You skate too fast, it fails. The only time this deke really works is if you're skating slowly or if you're coming in at a kind of diagonal angle toward your backhand side. Not to mention, this deke is just slow. So even when your skater does manage to pick up the loose puck, it kind of takes a second and your player generally kind of bobbles with it and you slow down. Pretty much the only things this deke has going for it um, is that it's easy to learn for sure. So you, you simply just hold your puck down to the forehand side, hold L1 and then roll the stick, uh, the right stick slightly upward. So it's super easy to learn. It combos relatively well uh, with other deeks, but other than that, there's not a lot going on for this deke. It's a shame too, because I think before NHL 21, this deke was actually okay. Um, and it's a unique move conceptually because it moves you slightly backwards diagonally, which no other move really does. So I'd honestly like to see this move reworked because it is a deke you see in the actual NHL somewhat regularly and it works pretty well. I think it could be a cool counter to the poke check, but as it is right now, it just fails way too often to justify consistently using. Coming in at number two, and this is actually one of my favorite deeks, but I hate to say it, the Kyle Turris deke sucks. It's about as useless as it gets in this game. The sticking is more complicated and precise than most deeks, and the payoff is not much. So to do this deke, Coast, hold the puck back on your forehand side, press and hold L1, and then either let go of the right stick and tap it downward, or just roll the right stick slightly downward from that position. So while this isn't super, super complicated, the only thing it accomplishes is moving your puck a few inches to your skate, and then a few inches back onto your stick on your forehand side where it already just was. So your skater also doesn't change their trajectory at all. So they basically stay in the same spot they were when they started the deke and they don't cut to the left or right at all. 
there's almost zero deception involved. The DEEK also has a relatively high fail rate at high speeds or if you have a low DEEK rating. And as I said before, you have to even be coasting to even perform the DEEK, so it slows you down. To recap, this DEEK is relatively hard to learn. It's not deceptive, it fails often, and it's a slow DEEK. I guess it combos okay with other DEEKs, but like I said, it's just slow. That being said, I still love this DEEK uh, because it's flashy and it looks cool. But uh, that's about the only positive thing I can say about it. <laughs> Coming in at number one, the most useless deke in the NHL series, and to me it's without question, the forehand backhand sweep. I almost considered not even including this one. Uh, one, because it's just such an afterthought of a deke, but also because it's so similar to the behind the back one-hander. There are a few key differences though, and I think the biggest is that it's probably the hardest deke in the game to perform consistently. In my experience, you basically have to come in at one super specific angle to get this move to work consistently, and even then, I still find myself accidentally doing the behind the back one-hander because the controls are so similar. I still am like not convinced that this was meant to be different from the behind the back one-hander, but I'm still not 100% sure. Uh, to do this move, skate in slightly diagonally toward your skater's backhand side coast, roll the right stick down on your forehand side, then press and hold L1, then tap the right stick left and then right if you're a righty, or right then left if you're a lefty. If this sounds complicated, it's because it, it kind of is. So another downside to this deke is that it takes super long to complete. I'd say it's up there with the behind the back one-hander and then the between the legs off the skate deke in terms of just how long it takes your skater to complete and it might even take longer than, than both of those, honestly. So when you throw in the fact that it has one of the higher fail rates of any deke in the game, it's no surprise that you practically never see anyone use this move. Why would you? So anyway guys, that's what I consider to be the three most useless dekes in the game. Do you disagree? What do you think are the worst dekes in the NHL series and why? Let me know down in the comments and stay tuned for more videos like this. Now that I've done the three uh, most useful and useless deeks in the game, I'm considering doing what my three favorite deeks in the game are, so let me know if that's something you might be interested in. Anyway guys, I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.